this morning is now why is Bible reading just in general so important? And why are we pushing for this? And why do I strive for this? You know, a lot of people might think, many people out there, you know, when you go out soul winning, you talk to people like this, oh, I already read the Bible. Right? People say, well, I've, I, I've already done that. Now, oftentimes, I think that's a lie anyway, <laughs> when people say it, because there's a lot of people say, it. when they say they've read the Bible, it means they've read like a couple pages or a couple chapters, and then they've sat in church and just heard teaching on the Bible, right? Very few people actually read the entire book cover to cover. But even for those that do, even for people who do read the entire book, you've read the whole thing cover to cover. This is not like a novel. This is not like some other book. They have to read for English class or you just read for enjoyment on your own time and just reading literature where you could just read a book and be like, wow, that was a good book and you put it aside. This is the word of God. I mean, it's not a book that you just read one time and say, well, that's it. I don't need to read this or look at this anymore because I've already read it. And if you think you know everything that's in the Bible because you read it one time, you're sorely mistaken. You could read this book every single day of your life and still not know everything that's in this book because it's that deep, because it's powerful, because it's the Word of God. And we're treating it as such. And this is a book that we need to live our lives by. This is something that you need to know on a regular basis to make decisions in your life, to go through life, to know what's right, to know what's wrong. This is not something you just read one time and just be like, yep, I got it. We're good. This is our life. We're going to get into some of those points a little bit, but we started off here in 2 Timothy chapter 3. There is a lot of things we could preach on 2 Timothy 3, so I'm going to try to keep it focused in on our subject at hand here. Look down at verse number 14, because this is the Apostle Paul writing this epistle to Timothy. Timothy was a young preacher, and Paul was giving him guidance and instruction on how we ought to live and how we ought to be. Verse number 14 says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And I just want to make this point real quickly. Neither coming to church and hearing the Bible preached is sufficient, nor just reading the Bible is sufficient in your spiritual life, in your walk with God. We need both. You need to hear God's word preached. You need to hear it expounded upon. You need to, you need to be in the church. You need to, to be here to fellowship with one another, but also to hear and to learn and receive teaching from someone else that's going to that's gonna teach you things. Just as the Apostle Paul is, is, is advising Timothy here, hey, remember the things you've learned and it's been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. He's been taught certain things. The Apostle Paul taught Timothy certain things. And he's, and he's taught them things. He's saying, don't forget these things. And that's an admonishment. It's not just here in this book, in this book of the Bible, this verse. There's other places too where he's saying, hey, you know, don't forget the things that we've taught you. This teaching is important. The hearing, the preaching is important. But also, you know, reading the Bible for yourself, you need to be doing that. Everyone needs to be doing that. That's the only way you're going to understand if what you're even hearing is true. If you can believe what's being taught to you. Now, a good preacher, if you're in a good church, you should be hearing things that's going to open up your understanding a little bit better and understand the Bible a little bit more. And there's going to be, uh, you know, God's word's going to be prepared and presented and a lot of cross references made already for you to open up and see, wow, yeah, I didn't understand that. I've read that before, but I didn't quite get that. That's what you're going to get in church. But on your own time in your own reading, you also need to be doing that because there is other learning and other growing. And that honestly, that should be the majority of your learning and teaching should be coming from your own individual Bible reading. That should be the bulk of it. You should be seeing things for yourself and learning from your own reading and your own hearing from the Word of God. Let's